I'm so excited. I cannot wait to show you the new feature that Barry's has come out with treatment plans. I don't know about you, but my entire life as a clinician, treatment plans have been the bane of my existence. That and progress notes. So Barry's is solving for both progress notes that then get turned into AI generated treatment plans. Amazing. I cannot wait to show you this. Now, I've recorded some sample sessions. Again, these are not real clients. They are completely made up. I hit the uh, dictate button. I dictated a fictitious session and how to create progress notes for me. So I want to show you here under test sample treatment plan. This is a note it generated for me very in depth. Watch my other videos if you haven't seen how to generate progress notes with Barry's progress note tool. This is actually a note format that I created within Barry's. Now, let me show you the notes written. I just finished the session. Let's say I need a treatment plan for this client. Check this out. Come up here to the treatment plan feature right here. Click this and you're going to see generate new or insert a treatment plan. So let's say you have a treatment plan already in your EHR somewhere. You could put that treatment plan over here and have it saved under this client's name. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to show you all of this, but I'm going to come here and I'm going to generate a new treatment plan based on this progress note that I just wrote for this fictitious client. Generate new and less than probably 30 seconds, we're going to have an amazing treatment plan that we can copy and paste verbatim into our EHR if we want to. Anxiety and suicidal ideation. That's what this client was talking about. Diagnosis, generalized anxiety disorder. The cool thing about all of this is you can totally edit it. So let's say no, actually, I already know this client has post-traumatic stress disorder. So we could put that in instead. It's going to say the diagnosis. And then it says client expresses persistent anxiety, especially when alone, leading to panic and frequent suicidal thoughts. The goal, reduce the frequency of anxiety episodes and suicidal thoughts by 50% within the next three months. Objectives, the client will practice grounding exercise for at least 10 minutes daily to reduce anxiety episodes from daily to three times per week within four weeks. Okay, this is very measurable, very specific, very important if you're an insurance-based clinician. Even if you're an out-of-network clinician and submitting super bills, insurance companies audit these treatment plans. You need them to be specific, measurable, and meet medical necessity for therapy. This next part, therapists will conduct weekly sessions incorporating DBT mindfulness techniques to teach and reinforce grounding exercises one time per week for 45 minutes. Now, DBT is an evidence-based treatment modality. So having that in your treatment plans is very important as well. You're going to want to make sure you're using evidence-based modalities when you're creating treatment plans. You can check this, edit all this to see what you think. Now, let's say you don't like what it generated, or I just changed this, right? I changed it to post-traumatic stress disorder. Now, if you don't like it, you can come down here, you could click update and it's going to update the treatment plan for you. It's going to give you new interventions, new ideas, new evidence-based objectives. Okay, so it updated it. I'll explain this in a little while, but it updated it and it gave us a new problem. It gave us the post-traumatic stress disorder diagnosis instead. Client experiences persistent anxiety, especially when alone, leading to panic attacks and frequent suicidal thoughts. But this has changed. Reduce the frequency of anxiety episodes and suicidal thoughts by 50% within three months. So they, it's updated it. It's changed it a little bit. Now, let's say you want to just generate a new treatment plan altogether based on this note. You can click generate new. This is not the most exciting thing you've ever seen in your whole life. You never have to write treatment plans again. So it generated a whole new treatment plan right here. Anxiety went alone and worrying about family. It changed it. It gave it a new diagnosis. It gave it a new behavioral definition. It gave it a new goal, reduce anxiety symptoms by 50% as measured by self-reported anxiety levels on a zero to 10 scale within three months, okay? So just by clicking that button, it changes the whole treatment plan for you and you have a whole new treatment plan that you can work with. And then when you're finished with it, you can copy it right down here with this button, copy it, take it over to your EHR and paste it in where you put treatment plans. And then you've got a treatment plan for your client. That took about 20 seconds to do. Now I want to show you what happens next. This is the part that is just totally blowing my mind on top of the treatment plan it's already written. So I'm going to X out of this. And let's say now I've had a second session with the client a week later. Okay. So now I'm going to come over here and let's say I saw this client again, same name, test, sample, treatment plan, same client I saw last week under the same name. It generates based on the name of the client. So I come over here. Now I'm in the next week and I'm going to click treatment plan. Now we've got the treatment plan from last week here. Now let's say I want to update my treatment plan, or I even want to see if there has been any progress made towards the treatment plan. You can do that in Barry's. It's going to remember the last treatment plan. It's going to update 
the current treatment plan based on the last note that you wrote based on the last note that you wrote okay so i'm going to come down here and i'm just going to click update based on the new note that just happened and you guys prepare to have your minds blown this is incredible and then you have an update so it took the information from the last note and talked about in this note exactly what we did in the session related to the last session so if, for example, you didn't address anything on the treatment plan, it would say none or no changes to objectives or goals on the treatment plan. But for this one, did not try grounding exercises. So this is a guide, but also something that you can share. You can copy and paste this and use it to show if there's been any improvement in goals and objectives. You may not need it each week, but if you do, it's here for you and it's updated it. And as you can see, it's kept the same goals because there was nothing in the note to indicate that these goals have been met or, or need to be marked as completed. Okay, so let's say that we've saved it now and maybe we didn't like some of the changes that we made inside of the note. You can always come down here and hit this back arrow and it'll revert back to the treatment plan that you had before. So let's say you have a session that's totally different than what you were working on before in your treatment plan. If you want to, you can click the generate new button for a new note and have it generate a new treatment plan at any time, which will override the existing one. So if you click here and you go to generate new, let's say I'm just over this, I don't want this one at all. We talked about something totally different in the session, but my old treatment plan is coming up. You come down here, you click generate new, and it's gonna give you a whole new treatment plan based on this progress note, or even an updated version of the treatment plan that was just right there. Now we have a new diagnosis. Now it's giving me social anxiety disorder and post-traumatic stress disorder. So you can play with this, click it as many times as you want and see if you like the treatment plans that it's coming up with. You can copy and paste just certain sections. If you wanna do that, copy it, take it over to your EHR or copy the whole thing using this button right here. Now, the last thing I really wanna to bring to your attention is this here that says beta. So this is a beta version of the treatment plans. Barry's is very interested in us as clinicians giving very detailed feedback to them so they can make this treatment planner perfect for you. They're still trying to perfect it. So your feedback is gonna be super important. It's a beta version and right here, if you see this button, share your feedback, you can click this and you can come in here and you can leave a note. You could say this treatment plan was nothing what I even talked about in the session or this treatment plan was perfect, thank you, keep doing this. Or, you know, gosh, if only there was a button where I could do this also, please put all of that in the forum, send it to Barry's. They want to hear from you. They're very excited to make this product perfect for you. Okay, if you have any questions, of course, reach out to me anytime. I'm always gonna be updating you on Barry's and I like to hear from you too, so I can give them feedback as well from a clinician's point of view.